trust, right? So yes, I don't have any trust issues with you. As a matter of fact, you're the only person. Shouldn't say that. There's a couple guys that I that I trust. But as far as relationship as far, trust, yeah, is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Well, yeah. I just being. I'm just looking at people in general. Right. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to talk about trust, like how to gain sure. trust. Like, I don't think trust is gender specific. I think it's a fucking an emotion. I think it's something that each yes. and every person has. And you, you trust is something that is not just given. It is earned just like respect. Mm-hmm. Um, but the reason that I wanted to bring it up is because I didn't trust any in a relationship. I didn't trust any woman. Why would I trust anybody? Sure. Especially if it's a one, I didn't even trust myself. So there's a couple things that, that for me, um, to be able to get to this spot where Matt, you know, secrets and I mean, I, don't, I tell the world anything about me, right? Like I'm not, I actually straight up, I use it for marketing. We use it every day. People Ryan want real. Smiles, yeah. They want it to be real. I, what you see on camera is who you get. I fucking tell the truth. Um, I'll tell you when I'm having a good day or a bad day. Like I've got nothing to hide with them. More drugs, fucking lied, bad shit than anybody I've ever met. Um, don't give a fuck about that. Like that's clear, clean up my closet. But like when I look at trust, um, something that is, is given. I, I came into this relationship with zero trust for anybody, including myself. So the first step that every man, woman, um, well, it's not child, but every man or woman that is getting into a relationship or already in a relationship or trying to repair the trust is you have to trust yourself. Number one, or you have to massive, right? If I, if I, so when I did the fucking ghost rider move on you for those few weeks, Mark or, ghosted me for two weeks. <laughs> you love talking about that. That was a dick move. <laughs> but I did. I, I ghosted you not because not because I didn't want to be with you, but because I didn't trust who I was. Sure. Right. I'm like I, I don't know that I can. I don't know that I can be faithful. I don't know that I can just be uh, loving. I don't know that I'm lovable. I don't know that fucking. I don't even know who I am. Right. Like I was yeah. building this. Like, I don't even know who I am in a relationship, but yeah, I'm, I, I'm grinding, grinding, hustling father, taking care of my life, this guy, but like all of a sudden, whoa, now I got this emotion of love back and like two weeks, I feel this way. Fuck you. I can't trust you. Right. Those are what's going through was, my mind. Yeah. But really when, when you look at taking ownership of self, man or woman, it starts with trusting who you are and that requires you to take commitments, make commitments, right? So even though you call it a dick move and ghosted, like had I not done that, I don't know. I, I don't know that I would have been, been able to be a work in progress. Sure. Right. I had to say, okay, look, I'm all in. 